Hello subscribers, my name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. I run an online metaphysical store, uh, Chemistry. Uh, today I want to talk about uniting. Will we ever unite and what will heal our people? What will really heal our people? Uh, and what will we ever unite? Uh, I've asked myself that question many of times, especially when I see look in the conscious community, I've looked in the spiritual community, and we have so many issues and barriers that stop us from working together and coming together. And I've asked the ancestors this so many times. And during my recovery process, what I have learned, uh, you know, because I was not directly affected by the trauma of our ancestors because some my family took some of it was affected. Uh, by some of the dynamics that our ancestors went through. And so we have, I have a lot of trauma, dysfunction in my family. So that trauma was inherited. Um, what is going to take? Whew, what is going to take to have world peace? What is going to take for us to unite? You know, uh, going through my uh, recovery process and healing myself, um, uh, you know, I I see things from a whole d different perspective. It's a whole different perspective now. I'm able to understand things I couldn't understand at first, what was going on with our people and why they act the way they do. Uh, why do conscious people seem like they're so angry all the time, just angry, everything, you know, it's got to be, you know, ugly and angry. Uh, and, you know, we got to blame, blame, blame. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, that there's not someone responsible for what is going on with us. That's not what I'm saying. But we also got to take some responsibility for our behavior. Okay? We also have to take some responsibility for that as well. Because some of us in the conscious community got some ugly behaviors. We do some of the ugliest things to each other, the way we abuse each other. And now we want someone to have some type of sympathy for us. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it real. For example, look at Dr. Omar Johnson. I used to like him. I liked him, but I started noticing he had some narcissistic characteristics. Uh, his rants, his rages, uh, the situation with the uh, exotic dancer, you know, the way he handled all that. It was uncalled for. It was very uncalled for the way he handled that, that whole situation. Uh, the way he insults people, the way he talks about himself in a third person. Uh, but I did know that uh, some of the things that I learned about Tariq when I went back and did a little more research on him and how he feels about women. He has said some things about women that I did not appreciate. Okay? So here we is. We got two brothers saying that they're conscious, but yet these behaviors, these behaviors, these behaviors they're not dealing with. And and, and that's these are one of the reasons why our conscious people cannot ascend. They have no spiritual uh, grounding. You know, they are not. They don't have any, you know, uh, if they really wanted to know what the ancestors wanted, they would be working more on themselves so we can get further ahead. But they're not doing that. They're, they're still... Uh, embracing some of the trauma of our ancestors, taking it on to the next generation, teaching it to the next generation, these behaviors, because people, you know, not only are they listening to what these people are saying, they're also, uh, they're going to project some of this behavior as well. They're going to think this behavior is okay to behave like this, to go on rants and throw tantrums and stuff. They're going to think this back. And this is one of our problems. This is one of our problems. You know, and this is on both sides. This this is not just on on the on uh you know the African side, but this is on a, a on the Caucasian European side too. This is on both sides. Until we correct these behaviors, these traumas, these these behaviors, you know, and, and you know, and some of it is bad and abusive, and we need to stop it. And they've normalized it in our system, in our governments. You know, it goes on to be normalized in religion and all these other programs. And now we have these trauma bonds, these fear-based relationships uh, in our community, in our religion, in our government. Have you seen our president? That says it all right there. So if you, you know, if, if you are not ascending 
also in your your spiritual practices and you're still holding on to that that collective trauma of our ancestors and you know that's one reason why once you start being able to forgive and you understand understand what happened to you you understand what happened to you and you understand what happened to them because you can't that's that way you can open a door of forgiveness some of our ancestors was just not right. And they died like that. They died like that. So a lot of them need to be elevated. I know, you know, they need to be elevated and pray, pray, pray for to lighten, lighten the burdens of their souls. You know, this thing goes deep. And until we do the work on ourselves, you know, we need to sit down. We need to sit down until we learn what our behaviors are. I was just so surprised at Dr. Omar Johnson because he calls himself a pan-Africanist. And, uh, you know, he seems to be familiar with the uh, the spiritual practices of African people. Uh, I've, I've seen him pour libations. But yet you display these, you know... These behaviors was just, it was just something. These behaviors that he had was just, you know, it, 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 it was, you know, it was uncalled for. Dr. Omar, some of his behavior is, is uncalled for and he needs to check it. He may apologize for it, but I don't remember Dr. Frances Wilson acting like that. Dr. Frances Wilson, she was a psychologist too. And she was the calmest. I mean, she was so she uh, every, all her videos and stuff that I've watched her. She remains her her energy remains the same way. She's always calm. She seemed like she's in a peaceful uh, uh, space every time she's even bringing the information. When she's talking to you about her experience, she is not angry behind it. That's because you know why? Because she has detached. And she is healed so she can move past it and bring her message. See, once we detach from that, where we're not showing any anger anymore, we detach from uh, the trauma and we can move on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot more better for us. It's, it's, it, you know, we can do so many other things because we're thinking with a clear head. We're making good choices. We have assessed the situation and we waken up and said, oh, ancestors, oh, I feel your pain. Oh, I know. OK, this is how I fix it. If I fix my behavior, because they're a part of us, I fix my behavior in everything. Then I, I also heal you as well. So in your honor, in your honor with me living a positive more lifestyle and being more positive leaving more of a positive impact in my community i am also honoring your death you know making your uh trauma uh you know better not well, that's not the word you know you are really helping them work through their trauma they're you're correcting what they didn't mean to do do to you and that's what that that is their wishes is to correct the behavior, you know. Uh, you try somebody beating you and 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 beating you, and, beating you and, and you just treat it like a dog, you know, day in and day out. Don't you think you're gonna treat your kids a certain kind of way? Don't you think you're gonna react and act some of that trauma? You're not gonna mean to, but in order, to, if you ain't going to see no counseling and none of that type of stuff. You're going to bring some of them family dynamics within in your family. And then, therefore, those dynamics are going to have an effect uh, on the, you know, on the kids and the next generation, next generation. You see these programs in our government. You see them with our president. You know, like I said, look at our president. That tells it out right there. Okay. So um, there is everywhere. And once you start to recognize that and start to deal with your trauma. The things, this issues that you got going on with you, you're going to see uh, blockages that you didn't see at first. You might have to, you know, cut some people off. It might be a mother, father, sister, brother, or whatever. But these people are full of this toxic energy, 
and you know, and if you gave their behavior, sometimes make us have bad behaviors. They trigger bad behaviors in us. And until we learn how to get those bad behaviors in check or created boundaries with them, uh, you know, we're not going to sin. You're not, we're not going to sin and go to the next level in our spiritual evolution. So this, you know, in order, you know, our, in order for our nations to unite, in order for the world to unite, we're going to have to uh, correct some of this bad behavior. You know, uh, I know it's hard to do with TV and all this stuff, promoting all of it or whatever, but we are going to have to get those behaviors in check. And we are going to have to know ourselves, to truly know ourselves. I mean, they say that all the time, know thyself, know thyself. But do you truly know yourself? Do you know why you do the things that you do? Do you know why you say the things that you say? Do you truly, 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 truly know yourself? Do you know yourself? You know, I think we turn, we toss that phrase around a little too lightly and we're really not understanding what it really is. We're really not applying it to what it, you know, what it's really saying. You know, we're not looking at that. So we're really going to have to know ourselves, you know. Uh, and there is some people in our conscious community, uh, conscious community. They'll read the books. They can tell you what's going on with black people, how we being mistreated. That it is. They seem to always be in this frenzy of madness all the time. They're just always angry. You know, uh, it's not gonna work like that because that that anger and all that stuff, that stuff is gonna spill over into something else. Until we, you know, get that under control, we have to get the anger under control. Um, and we have got to, you know, stop believing some of this religious stuff because some of it, some of this stuff is, is, is just not real. We don't want to deal with facts too. We got people that don't want to deal with facts. They're in denial. And so they don't want to do the work on themselves. You got people, and 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 that's that is a form of denial when you somebody telling you this is this, and then you no 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 no, you know, uh, we got that going on too. That's another reason why we can't all unite as humans, you know, because we we don't want to deal with facts. We like we like living we like living in these in these denials so we can act out these negative these behaviors that's not good for us. So will we unite? Is it possible to unite? Yes, it's it's you know it's possible to unite to those who who choose to, who choose to really want to uh, work on these behaviors and ascend and want to be uh, do good work and and help others and want our people to move in the, the right direction. Yeah, it's possible. But then you're gonna have these you know you got these ministers. And you got people like Omar Johnson and, and Tariq Nasheed that our people blindly follow. You know, they blindly follow because because of what these people say. And they don't really mean any of this stuff. They're, you know, <clears throat> they, are, they, they are not for our people. They are really robbing our people. They're not leaders for our people. They're not telling them the things that they really need to do to get themselves together. You know, and that's doing the inner work. You can do that inner work and, and you start reprogramming your mind to the to the facts. To the facts. You know, uh, then you can make better choices. You'll know where you need what's what direction you need to go into. You know. Uh you can you can read as many books as you want to. But until you start doing that inner work. And start dealing with that trauma, you know what? Do you, whatever these negative emotions that you got going on with you, you know, uh, and, and our people, we'll see people like we we seen uh, Doctor Armar Johnson acting crazy like that. I mean, people still love him. You could you blatantly see that something is going on with this man, but these people still follow him. People see Tariq Nashi, you know, disrespect these women like this. You know the way I don't like the way he does that. You know, uh, that even wreaks trauma on our future mothers. You know what I'm saying? Because we got 
promiscuous I issues, you know, uh, we got all kind of issues going on with us. I mean, women, you know, are really traumatized. Some of us are really traumatized. Uh, and then some of us are very abusive too, even towards our own kids. So it, it really trauma, you know, you're keeping this stuff going on. How can we follow somebody like the, these, these characters? Because they just say things that just, uh, you know, they, they, they can love bomb us with the things that we want to hear and we'll just follow right along. That's not how that works. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. You know, uh, and I know many of you don't want to hear this message. You don't want to hear it. You know, uh, but if you really, when you really start doing the inner work and you really go into this, you will see that. Uh, that's what ancestral uh, uh, honoring the ancestors is all about. Healing those wounds, getting back those power. And correcting those behavior. Even in Vudum and Orisha, they encourage good character because these are energies, these are emotions. And then you have Igun. Igun, you know, he, he is a, a, uh, a energy of war, but he plans it out for you. You just don't go out out of your anger and just, you know what I'm saying? It's planned out. You know, it's smart. You, you know, until you learn how to work these energies and learn to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't, you know, it's not going to work for us. And I'm seeing it in the conscious community. You know, I am seeing it. You know, they are getting rich off us. And we, we got this, we want to be out of this situation so ba bad. We got this trauma bond going on because... Even with our own people, we got this trauma bond going on. Even though we hurt, hurting and abusing each other, we're still looking for each other to get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's a trauma. It's a trauma bond, and and uh, and I, you know, just I, I can't just like this. These preachers, you know, we got our people going here, wanting these answers from God, God, and they would not go within to get the answers because the answers within they would not connect with nature. Uh, they won't go within, but they got that this preacher's taking all their money like that, and then they have to this. Then they they learn about this God that may or may not heal them with conditions. You know, is that love? Is that love? You know, is God really that petty? You know what I'm saying? I don't love you if you not like this. If you do this, you know, and our people have, have, have got this same uh, attitude. They've got this same attitude. And we are project, we, we project it onto others. See, if you really want to heal, you've got to look at these. you got to look at this. We really want to unite. we got to look at this. we got to look at all these barriers uh, that's keeping us from uniting. Will we ever unite? And I can tell you now, if, if you're not ascending uh, uh, in your spiritual evolution above this, uh, above just knowing what happened to our ancestors and all that and how they practice, if you're not ascending above that and looking at what you need to be doing, because all of us are healers, healing yourself from the trauma, healing our yourself and healing our ancestors from the trauma, uh, then you've missed, you've missed the whole process. You've missed the whole process. Keep doing that. Because once you've healed yourself and that damage, whatever damage you have inherited from the trauma, uh, any behaviors that you have that's unwanted, that's negative, and you have not found pos positive ways to deal with your issues, then, you know, you're not going to sin. If you're denying something that's going on in your family and you don't want to look at it or whatever, uh, that's probably why you're not ascending, you know. It's going to take self work for us to unite. We got we got to work on ourselves. We got to work on ourselves to be able to deal with the with the abusive environment. It is a transgenerational environment. You 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 you, you know this racism still stuff going is still going on. Instead of the plantations, we got the jail now. We know all that. We, uh, see how we inherited trauma? We inherited the trauma from our ancestors. So now it's time to get our mind back, get it back right. Get it back right to do the inner work, correct those behaviors. So, you know, 
these behaviors, because they created the behaviors. You know, poverty, not having money, all that, it create criminals. So we have to correct, we have to correct the behaviors. We have to correct the behaviors, and that is my, uh, that's my healing message on unity for our people. And if we do not correct these behaviors, we just keep passing them down to the next generation. Uh, well, I thank you so much for watching this video. Like our videos and share our videos. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.